fitting the shutter and lens assembly back into the body and I'm just seeing if I can get the retainer ring started here I'm just using the tips of two pairs of tweezers here to revolve this retainer ring to see if it'll pick up those threads it doesn't look like I'm getting anywhere there I'll have to maneuver the position of the shutter slightly to get that to take up it's worth taking some care with this because if you cross thread it it's very hard to recover from that certainly not wanting to pick up I'm just rolling the re retainer ring around with my fingers at the moment checking that shutter and lens assembly to see that it's firmly fixed that's good it's not tight but it's it's correctly positioned when you're fitting the shutter and lens assembly back in it's important that it's correctly oriented otherwise your shutter release won't work because the arm will be in the wrong position sometimes there are multiple positions that they will sit this one our focus mark is right here at the 90 degree position so we're pretty sure we're good the retainer ring is screwing in very smoothly in this case that is by no means always the case that's good and I think I can use my lens spanner to get that last bit and the main thing to watch when you're doing something like this is to be careful not to slip you don't want your spanner to either slip and damage the bellows or worse still slip and damage the lens That's good, that's all firmly fixed in position now. And the uh, body release works well. So, cock the shutter. That's good. So, I'm going to turn my attention to the top of the camera now and just clean the film advance mechanism, just make sure that's smooth. The only important thing here. Um, there's two aspects to this. Obviously there's a bush through here uh, that the shaft passes through to rotate the spool. If the grease has dried out in there or dust has got in, that'll be rougher than it otherwise should be. So that it's worth taking it apart sometimes in order to clean and lubricate that. And I do mean sometimes. Sometimes you're better to leave things alone. So... First I'll remove the film spool. I'm having a look at the arrangement here. There's a screw on the top of the film advance. 
to take a tool and that may or may not move easily it does that was quite loose I'm unscrewing that with a pair of tweezers and lift the knob off the top of the film advance it's simple there's nothing exciting there it's an aluminium knob it has a another section set into it uh, with, the, with the direction arrow on it that just needs to be cleaned there's nothing nothing to be done there to hold the top cover to the body there's a retainer ring around this button that button is the release for the front of the camera so that retainer's got to come off there's no visible screws but there'll be something under this depth of field scale so we'll remove those two screws they may actually hold it all together for all I know we'll find out not uncommon for buttons like this to lift off with the top cover sometimes the top cover lifts off around them let's see how we get on right so that depth of field scale can come off single screw here countersunk head screw of course this is a bit greasy because it's um, greased up with nice green grease as you can see this retainer collar will that come loose for us yes again I was able to use a stiff pair of tweezers to do that uh, it didn't cause me any grief will it lift off here's our top cover complete with shutter release this little pin here is very important that'll be part of our shutter release it sits down into the shutter release button and that is where a, a, a uh, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, cable release. Cable release would act against that part. So, what have we got here? Well, this is all loose and fallen off just to make life interesting. That came from there. That collar came from there. So, those two collars, they're just support collars here to support the top plate. The top plate and turn that holds this down into position. That's our viewfinder. We've got one piece of glass in there to be cleaned. Here, this mechanism is for the shutter release. It's uh, if you open the front, you can probably see how that works. go back on there nicely for us no that'd be too much to ask as the shutter rotates as the film advances rotated it pushes this lever across if the shutter is cocked let's see what happens Yeah, freeze up our shutter release. Our shutter release is now blocked on the body by this arm sliding back the other way as we advance the film again. This comes around, catches this arm, pushes it forward, pushing this away from the shutter release button. And if the shutter is cocked at the body, again we can fire that. So that's all good. There's very little going on in here. Take great care if you get in this deep that you do not lose springs like this one here which operates this little lever or this little spring here which operates this lever uh, this is quite clean this is quite a clean example it's not uncommon to get into them and finding that that the whole area here is full of sand and dust and you may want to disassemble these parts in order to clean that out 
So I'm seeing if I can lift this arm off. It's trapped under that um, bush there. Yes, I can lift that off. And lift the spring off its post. That lever is quite light. Uh, be careful if you're taking apart things like that. You could easily damage them. This lever, is that free? I want to see if... I don't think that's free. I think that's riveted in place, but we'll find out. No, it is free. We'll lift that off. That spring, that's trapped. That's not going anywhere. And our shutter release was just a simple shaft through there. The release for the front cover was there. And the only piece left of any interest here is this film advance knob. And... I'm not sure whether that will come apart. That component may or may not lift off. It may be a riveted construction. The shaft probably pushed straight out, it does. It's got a detent ball and spring in here, but this component doesn't look like it comes apart. Let me just close the front of the camera up so that the lens is not vulnerable to anything. I want to see if this will lift off. I can see three rivet posts around here. I think that that's actually riveted in place. I don't think that comes apart. That's all right. So all I want to do is make sure I clean away all the dust here and any grit. This is quite a clean example. Um, it's not uncommon for cameras to have been to the beach multiple times in their lives. And every time they get put down on the sandy towel, and it's all bad after that. So I'm just going to clean that bush. Of any old grease. It actually feels quite clean. The shaft that goes through it, I'm just wiping that in the same way. Oh, there's a bit of dirt there. Bit of grease on those won't hurt. So it's a bit of synthetic grease. Just run some onto that shaft, that's enough. Pop that back up in here. Pull it up into position. Yeah, these components, I'll just give them a quick wipe to make sure there's no dust or grit on the back of them. They appear very clean. Yeah, that's it's coming away without anything on it, those cotton buds, so I know that's all clean. Bit of molybdenum paste which I'll wipe into that slot there and on that inside surface um, very very faint wipe on the bottom surface and this set here behind that spring under that arm Like that. And a catch set there like that. And the spring has to come right the way across. Like that. That's the disposition of our 
levers and this spring came round the outside of that post can you see any of this or am I working off camera now you can still see it and sat there like that that's good I'll just open the front of that camera again so this thing will stand up while I'm working on it this component I've got some little bits of uh, black felt here that have come away from somewhere probably a point like this where they acted as a light trap I would think and if not as a light trap then as some sort of baffle just to stop the ingress of dust and dirt so I'm just cleaning these components to get rid of any dust yes so I'd say that's what that is this piece here which is very chewed up looking probably began its life as a piece of black um, yarn just like this here but it's come adrift from its post and you can see the mark here where it would have been originally fixed it's come adrift from there found its way into the camera and been tangled around one of the levers or something I would think lucky it didn't stop things working so where am I now this thing here It sits there. Why is that sitting up? Oh, it's got a bit of fluff under it, a bit of that black stuff loose again. That's better, that's all sitting dead flush, that's back on where it should be. So I'll cut a piece of yarn to replace that damaged piece and glue that back into position. Yeah, that's just a bit of a mess, that one. And then put that back together. The viewfinder glass, of course, I want to clean. Got two options here. One is to pull this piece of glass out, clean it and pop it back into place. And the second is to clean it in position. I've got a big enough hole in the back there that I can get a cotton bud down inside there to clean it and obviously I can get to the front face easily enough I think I'll do it that way I think that sounds simple well I'll just clean that um, I've also got to clean the eyepiece on the top housing uh, that's fixed into the top housing it's easy to get at I'll just clean both sides again just glass cleaner on a cotton bud and I'll clean the top cover particular attention to getting rid of that dirty green grease let's put the uh, top back on start with this piece check that that's sitting correctly oh, it's, yeah, that's just that piece of yarn I put under there kicking that up that's fine this collar went over at that end this collar went over at that end and the top cover next make sure that the shutter release button goes back into position there or the, the center for the shutter release button this may be tricky it may want to fall out it does let's try it on top of there and put the cover straight down onto it which will either be a stunning success or it won't yes that worked everything's down in position that's good we have a collar at this end this end is held down with a single screw Just 
tighten that collar up. It wasn't difficult to achieve. The advanced knob here is keyed. See if I can get that on there. It must be a snug fit. It's reluctant to go on. There it goes. held on with this pinhead screw That not really it. That's better. That's working correctly. I'll just tighten this screw up. I took note that it wasn't over tight when I started. That's all right. It doesn't need to uh, be over tight. Tight enough to retain this, the knob, it's not under any great stress. So, for our depth of field scale here, I'm just going to put a tiny smear of synthetic grease under that because I can see where it had been rubbing against the top plate. Likewise, for the wavy washer, it sits down in here, and then we have the scale. which sits here and I think we'll have that set so infinity is to the front does that look right? yeah that looks okay get these two screws in one of them that's the other. I'm trying to decide whether I like the orientation of that or not. I don't suppose it makes a lot of difference to tell the truth. Let's try it the other way up and see how it looks. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. Do those screws up. That's by no means smooth and sweet, but it uh, revolves smoothly compared to how it revolved to start off with. So, set the shutter, wind on. Of course, you'd be checking at the back here. This is a spring-loaded window cover. You check there as you wound on to get your numbers lined up. But otherwise, that's good. So on this camera, all I'm left to do now is put the film spool back in the back. And set my focus on a ground glass screen. I finished with this camera now. This was the uh, Agfa record 2 camera synchro compo shutter and solenar lens and I believe a solenar lens is a four glass lens and that means that that rear group is almost certainly cemented as I expected and um, of course that's where the residual problem lies with this particular camera if you can say there is one is that the cement layer 
in the rear group is uh, less than ideal. It'll probably still take a good photo. So this camera has been stripped down and cleaned. Uh, all ready to use. The shutter's working correctly now. And I would expect that the owner should have some fun running a roll of film or two through this. So thanks for watching and I'll get on to something new.